Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this HomePal portable projector. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is a budget projector. This supports 1080p input, but the output on it's going to be 720p. So a projector like this could be good for outdoor movie night or some gaming just for weekend entertainment where you throw it up against a wall. This isn't the type of projector someone would build an entire movie theater room around, but this is one that if you took it outside and it fell over and got broke you're not out thousands of dollars so there's a place for the really expensive projectors and this is more of the budget one for people that want that kind of a thing so here's the projector here's the remote this takes two AAA batteries comes with a power cable this is a standard power cable connector in case you were to lose this this is an AV cable so you can plug this in to hook up legacy devices like DVD players old video game systems VCR this has right left channel and composite input here we have an HDMI cable so that would be for blu-ray players some DVD players some gaming systems lots of things can plug in with that here's a leveling foot and here's the projector so this is a very compact projector I like this size this would be easy to travel with so it does have this foot you can screw in for leveling this is also a quarter 20 thread so you could hook this up to a tripod or like a small stand so let's get this threaded in here otherwise on the bottom it has rubber feet this has two speakers on it here i see and we have vents on the bottom and we have a vent on the side so there's going to be a fan in here that's going to draw the air out so it doesn't get overheated lots of inputs on here we have speaker out so you can have external speakers we have av in so that's that adapter i showed you we have usb we have usb 5 volt output so if you were to plug something in here like a fire tv stick you could plug your power in here and your hdmi in here and you could power the fire tv stick from this device same with like a roku we have a sd card slot you can get an adapter real easy to use micro sd card we have a VGA, so this will work with legacy devices. We have the infrared for the remote, and we have power here. Then we have buttons on the top. Typically, buttons like this are used when you lose the remote. So if you don't use the remote, you may never touch these buttons. There's a lens cover. Pop that off. It has a tether on it, so you're less likely to lose it. And then we have the focus adjustment here. And this is the keystone adjustment. So I'll go over those when we get it plugged in. So I'm gonna get this set up on my screen and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, I have this up on my screen right now. I'm recording this at a little bit of a skew because the projector is in the way of doing it head on. The microphone is about probably a foot from the fan on the side. So if you hear some fan noise, that's what that is. And it's currently out of focus. So I'll turn the focus ring until it's in focus. Okay, so there's focus there. And then we have keystone. So I can turn that. So this is the keystone adjustment. I need it right in the middle and that's about right. So I could tweak that a little bit to get a little more use to my screen, but this is good enough if I was watching a movie or something, I wouldn't even get that picky. So we have different options on the screen. Let's take a quick look at the settings. So we have picture mode. So this is your standard picture modes. We have contrast, brightness and such. Now, every time I back out of here, I have to go all the way over to settings again. It'd be nice if it just took you to the main settings screen. Although I don't plan on adjusting these very often. We go to projection direction. So you can have the projector in the front, the rear, and on the ceiling from the front or rear. So you can switch the image around it. It will reverse it and turn it upside down. Then we have color temperature here. So we can adjust that. Aspect ratio. We have 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. And then we have noise reduction. So we can have off, low, middle, high, or default. So I'm going to stick a USB drive in here. So I do have a power meter plugged into this and it's currently drawing 46 watts. So you could plug this into a little power station and do an outdoor movie. And at 46 watts, most portable power stations would easily run this for the length of a movie. You might even be able to watch multiple movies. Okay, so now I have the USB plugged in. I can go to movie. We'll go to the C and I'll scroll down here. I think I have a movie at the bottom. Let's go to the train. Let me fast forward through this a little bit. Okay, so if I press the right and left on the direction pad, that changes the volume. If I go up, it goes to previous and next. Let's see if I hold the button down, okay. So I don't see a way to speed the video up here. So I'll just cut the video to where we can see something. So I do have a little bit of wrinkling on the screen. That's not from the projector. Okay, so there's a video sample. Let's go back, let's go to music. So this is a projector, but we can play music on it. So here's some music. Okay, it has a little bit of a display there. That's pretty cool. 
We can go to the next track. So playing music on a projector wouldn't be my first use, but there could be reasons to do that, and it will do that if you need it to. Picture would be pretty important. So here we can do slideshows and stuff. So this automatically switches every few seconds. We can also do it manually. So it does have little transitions here. This isn't the smoothest transition, but it does the job. I think this will make it random here. Looks like we can add some music to it. Rotate, zoom in, zoom out, move. So we have some different options here. Let's try this random mode. Oh, this is repeat, okay. Repeat one, repeat all. Okay, I want repeat all. So I think this is playing it in order. Let's see what info has, okay. And there's our playlist. So say you're having a graduation party for your kid, you could load photos on here and throw this up against the wall and people can look through them. So next let's look at an HDMI source. So I'll hit source here, I'll go down to HDMI, I'll hit that. I have this connected up to a computer. So the computer is currently outputting 1080p to this projector, so it's downscaling it to 720p. I'll play this. Okay, so that looked very nice. So let's switch over to a spreadsheet. So if I type some letters up there in the corner, that's pretty readable. Now, if you want native resolution, you can go in on your computer and change it to 720p. So I'll do that real quick. So now I've scaled this down to 720p. So this would be the native resolution of the projector. So if you're viewing something like a spreadsheet and it's not quite as sharp as you'd like, you can always switch to the native resolution. You're not going to be able to fit as much on the screen, but it might look a little bit better. So now I'll turn it off. I'll press the power button on here and I'll press it again and it goes into a standby mode. So this is what it looked like here. I had a USB drive plugged into the side and I had the HDMI plugged in here. So being a budget projector, this doesn't have all the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and all that stuff on it, but you can easily take a device like a Fire TV stick, plug that in here, plug in the power. We'll need the little adapter here to get a little more room. And now we can have our Fire TV stick connected into here. So this gives you a tremendous amount of capabilities. You don't have to buy a Fire TV stick for this. You could take one right off your TV and swap it back and forth if you're just using this on weekends and things like that. Or you could buy a dedicated one. You could also do a Roku. But this gives you tremendous capabilities to run all the Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, things like that. Then if this ever gets out of date, and this is actually an old out of date one I have now, you can just get a new one and have all the latest capabilities on it. And then for storage, we'll throw this cap on here. There we go, and it's ready to be storage. Well, that'll keep that lens clean and you're good to go. So that's the HomePower portable projector. I really like the size of this. It's incredibly compact, so this would easily fit in a bag. So if you're looking for a small portable projector to use, say like camping at an RV park, this would be easy to carry. You could throw a screen up against the side of your RV and watch a movie in the dark. This could also be in a kid's playroom, a little daycare, or anywhere else that you have a screen or a wall. You could just project this on a light wall and watch a movie. Being a budget projector, this is limited to 720p. Now, if you're just watching cartoons on this, 720p is plenty but even a lot of movies and such that's still over dvd quality and as much as i like all the pixels and resolutions and things like that a lot of times i'm more concerned about the quality of the content of the movie than i am the actual pixels i really like the brightness and the detail this projector had at this price range i was very impressed by it and also i like that it wasn't very loud uh, this fan was very quiet. I mean, you could hear it, but it wasn't bothersome. Some budget projectors can have really loud fans in it. I think they hit it right on this. And I just realized that there is IR on the front and the rear. So that's kind of handy. So if you're looking for a budget projector, I would take a look at this one. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.